year is the five year mark of One October. When you reflect back on October 1st, 2017, what do you think of? I remember the game a little bit, uh, not a whole lot. Uh, I remember we were supposed to go drop uh, family off at home and then head down to the concert. And um, we got home, changed, and kind of just ended up sitting on the couch and visiting and not going. And um, then I remember waking up uh, to a phone call the, by one of Melissa's friends. And, then it was uh, up all night, kind of uh, trying to call people to see uh, if, if guys were okay. Many people will remember that incredible speech that you gave. Um, you know, talk a little bit about that speech. How did that come about? The team came to my came to me and thought it would be a good idea to, to speak. And um, I'm not a big public speaker or anything like that. So wake up in the middle of the night and just be up for two hours just because it was on my mind trying to make sure I didn't uh, mess it up because it, it meant a lot. What do you remember from that game in that day, especially with all the first responders there? Yeah, that, that game was, uh, you know, right for me, right up there with my, my first NHL game, you, you know, not, not in the same emotional standpoint, but, um, you know, it's, it, it was still the, the first night's game here in Vegas. and. Um, the honor after what happened with 1 October, getting to go out with the first responders and, and stuff like that was, was an honor for me. Um, you know, I think looking back now at that game, it was, it was kind, of, kind of wrote a script better than that game turned out. That was the year you guys gifted this town with their run to the Stanley Cup Finals. You know, as someone who is a Las Vegas resident, what was it like to help this city heal? You, know, you don't know how much sports does actually help it. You know, as the year went on, you kind of seen, you know, you went to the rink and you seen the atmosphere there and in the games and, you know, that three hours of something where people can just shut off and, and not think about what's going on outside the rink or outside their TV was, you know, you got texts all the time saying how much it's helping people get through what's what's going on. So 